Mouse acceleration. You've probably heard of it, and if you've played enough FPS's, you might have even heard of how bad it is for your aim. When you're at a high level of FPS, you can make these instant quick flicks right to the head of your target because of all the muscle memory you've built up. That's because after hundreds of hours of gameplay, or even aim training, using the same sense will allow you to memorize exactly how far you need to move your mouse to get from point A to point B. Mouse acceleration will kill that muscle memory and make you less consistent. Videos all over the internet about picking a sensitivity warn you to turn it off because the Excel will ruin your aim and prevent you from developing that muscle memory. Right? This is basically what I had thought for years of playing FPS's. I had a vague understanding of what Mouse Excel actually was, but I just took it for granted when better players told me not to use it for those reasons. Then, I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos. I had actually seen Kovacs mention of Excel in his bio, but I didn't think too much of it at the time. But with the information the commenter gave me, I was suddenly intrigued. In theory, it sounds great. And if it's possible to commit that acceleration to muscle memory, it really could be the best of both worlds when it came to high and low sense. I've got a soft spot for unconventional techniques and setups, and with my love of improvement, it seemed like a match made in heaven. I've used the acceleration for the past two months. But before I tell you what I think of it, I need to explain what exactly it does first. So let's start with acceleration off. Depending on your sensitivity, there is a correlation between how far you move your mouse and how far the cursor moves. It's not respective to the speed you move the mouse, it's all about distance. In the instance where you need to put your aim on a target, a quick flick or a slow and steady movement both end up in the same spot on the mouse pad, and this is what almost everyone uses. But then we have mouse excel. Basically, the faster you move your mouse, the higher your sensitivity gets. So this time, a slow and steady movement will require you to move much further than a quick flick to get to the same spot. It's no secret that the average sensitivity of CS players is very, very low because of the high precision demand in that game. Yes, you can be a top player using a high sense, but in general, when you need to have pixel-perfect accuracy, it helps to have a lower sensitivity, giving you a bit more control over fine-grained movements. Meanwhile, the majority of really good TF2 soldiers use fairly high sense. That's because they have to make quick turns to perform their rocket jumps, benefit from being able to quickly snap where they want to place their rockets, and doesn't require quite as much precision as a headshot class would. In theory, Mouse Excel should give you the best of both worlds. You have that low sense that allows for pixel perfect accuracy, and if you need to make a wide angle adjustment or turn around quickly, you can do that without having to dislocate your shoulder. Some of you might think that doesn't sound too bad. Well, the reason that people hate Mouse Excel is because there are actually many different types of it. The most well known are Windows Enhanced Pointer Precision, individual mouse specific drivers like Logitech's, and in game implementations of Mouse Excel. Most of them are bad. The stigma that Mouse Excel has is pretty justified. To explain this, let me introduce the Mouse Excel that I was using Povo Hat's Mouse Excel driver. Basically, Quake Live had an implementation of Mouse Excel that was more or less ideal. From what I've heard, a lot of the top players actually made use of the Excel because of how robust its implementation was. You can customize your Mouse Excel to exactly fit your needs, and Pulpa Hat's driver sought to do the same thing, except across all games. It takes your mouse input and then adds the Excel on top. So if you want to use it on CS, Apex, OS, or whatever, it works. And god is there a lot of fine tuning you can do. Here's my Excel graph. Don't worry too much about the variables on the side, but notice the relationship between the sensitivity and the speed that I move my mouse is linear. It's a straight line. While your sensitivity will not remain the same all the time, the speed in which your sensitivity changes is consistent. That difference alone plays a huge role in making it possible to commit this Excel to muscle memory. So with that in mind, what kind of graph does Windows Pointer Precision have? This one. This is why people think mouse Excel is horrible. It could be okay, but the fact that this one uses a series of roots at seemingly arbitrary intervals makes it very hard to get used to, and having your sensitivity curve change when you hit one of these thresholds is just weird. There are actually a few examples of players who use some of these versions of Mouse Excel and play it at a very high level, but the fact that they're so few and far between really demonstrates how difficult it is to commit these kinds of curves into muscle memory. It is just daunting. And that's why almost everyone uses a linear curve. My first few games were kinda rough as I was figuring out what kind of Excel graph I liked, but as soon as I settled on a nice linear curve, it felt pretty intuitive. 
There were some awkward moments when I would try to go for a quick flick to a target and overshoot or turn around quickly and end up almost doing a full 360. The guide for setting up povo hats recommends using your current sensitivity on either the maximum or minimum sense on the curve, so you only really have to learn one new sensitivity because you'll already be used to the other one. I didn't do that. I wanted the full experience of diving headfirst into a completely new style of aiming. Yeah, there was novelty at first of just liking it because it was different and fresh, but over time, it felt normal. I became so used to it that when I turned it off by accident, my sensitivity felt wrong. The Excel curve had become ingrained in my mind, and even though I had been using no acceleration for 5-6 to six years, in just a week, acceleration became my default. And the touted benefit of both high and low sense was true. It felt like my tracking was nice and precise, but I didn't feel like I had to sacrifice my big flicks. So, did it ruin my muscle memory? So worth it. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, I'm doing just fine. But I did want to do one more thing to have a more definitive conclusion. Let's turn Mouse Excel off again and see if I can go back and still do okay. He popped the trap. Cracked him. Was it the <laughs> nice try, buddy. <laughs> I'm feeling a little better now. Uh, okay, he won that. That's the gamer. I missed that. And go for the jumping shot. Guy yeah, hit him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, he fell. Why did we fall? Equal underscore TF. Or sorry, silver bank. Not bad. Orbiter is the best. Uh, I would say that the AR is, is very, very versatile and easy to do well with when you're first picking up the game. Just learn the recoil, which is straight up, the speed that you have to compensate, and then you're, you're hard chilling. I'm just headshotting everyone. This feels so good. Yeah, it's not too bad. I turned it off for two days and recorded some best of five averages on various Kovac scenarios. I won't bore you with all the details, but after 80 runs with and without Excel, most of the scores were pretty similar, with Excel showing a noteworthy gap on difficult tracking scenarios like Cat IC Fast Stripes, and higher max scores on click timing scenarios like One Wall, Six Targets, TE. This doesn't even account for the benefit of being able to turn around more quickly, but does display the conclusion that I want to have here. I do think that if you have mastered mouse acceleration, you can achieve that ideal mix between high and low sense, but it's preference. Some people will like the feeling, others would prefer a more traditional aiming style. In games that involve quick movement, many types of aim, and the potential for wide angle flicks, it makes sense to use acceleration. But in a game where it's mostly about pre-aiming, game sense, and precision, 
you could take it or leave it. Regardless, I do want to make a sweeping statement about setup, sensitivity, and things of the like. You will only ever be as good as you actually are, and there is little that will instantly give you some boost to performance. Even in that short time I had excelled disabled, I was still beating most of the scores I had set since the last time I played Kovacs. I still got better as an FPS player in that time, even though it was a hugely different sensitivity. People are so worried about small changes in sensitivity setting them back months of progress, but with time, practice, and a good mindset, it really doesn't matter. You can get good with anything, and you can get used to anything. That's not to say I recommend using a slanted table or Windows Mouse Excel, but you probably could. To some extent, almost everything is preference. Finding the sensitivity or a mouse that works best for you requires trial and error, but in the meantime, blame your own skill and practice methods, not the setup. If I've convinced you to consider it, go for it. It won't ruin your muscle memory. Some people will stick with it, others will turn it off for good after a few games. But either way, it's worth a try. That being said, I do want to have two disclaimers before I go around making people try it out. Number one. If you are the type of person that changes their sense whenever they play poorly, I kind of want to advise you to stay away. There are so many things that you can change with the curve, I feel like you'll just be constantly in a state of changing values. But if you want to try it anyway, I can't stop you, and who knows, maybe it'll be what you're looking for. Even I changed my curve quite a few times throughout the course of this project, and I'm not really the type to mess with my sense constantly. Number two, if you play Valorant, do not use this driver. Not because it's a bad fit for the game, but it's actually restricted by the anti-cheat now. Riot, please fix. So, am I going to keep using Mouse Excel? Yeah, I think I will. I still love the crazy reactions I get when I say I use it, but more importantly, it feels good to use. I can finally use that stupid low sensitivity I really enjoy without giving up the crazy wide-angle aimbot moments. And I believe that I still haven't spent enough time to master it yet. Like everything... Try it yourself and see if it sticks. I'll leave some resources on how it works and how to set it up in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to support what I do, please stop by my stream sometime. As much as I enjoy making these videos, live streams allow for a unique kind of community interaction that I really enjoy. I stream almost every day at 3pm EST. I hope to see you there.